I'm Andrew Phillips and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the water filter on a Frigidaire refrigerator. So let's go ahead and get started. For starters, you want to locate the manual that came with your refrigerator. And in there, it will give you the information if you go to the filter replacement section, the information needed on reordering a replacement filter. It'll call out the part number and everything that you'll need to replace the filter on your appliance itself. Now, in the event that you do not have your manual, you can locate the information via the make and model of your specific refrigerator, and you'll have to look for the label, and I'll show you where you can find that. If you open your right door, and on the inside of your refrigerator here on the right-hand side, you'll have all the details about your specific appliance with your model number, serial number, etc., and you can use that also to cross-reference what filter is required for your specific refrigerator. And now that we've identified the proper filter required for the refrigerator that we're working on, and we've gone ahead and purchased it, you can order these online, you can order them through the stores where you purchased your appliance, like if it was Lowe's, Home Depot, places like that, they carry a select um, inventory, but sometimes, like in a case with this one here that we're working on, I had to order these online. You can get them online through different distributors, but I would stress that you do want to get the actual, like in the case here, the Pure Source Ultra 2, that is the specific one that's called out in the manual. Sometimes you'll find online that there's like an equivalent that a third party's making. If you want to get that, I guess it's up to you. I personally would go with the actual, um, the one called out by Frigidaire itself because that way you know that it meets their standards. So now that we've gone ahead and identified all this, we have the correct filter, and it's not a bad idea when you do order them, get some extra ones on hand, that way you have some um, in inventory in case your filter does start to die, and if you do have to order it, you're not waiting for it to come in, things like that. So now that we've gone ahead and do that, let's go ahead and actually start the process of swapping it out. Your refrigerator will start to let you know when the filter is starting to fail, and at that point, if you keep using it, you'll get a similar message to what we have here. Let's see if I can get a close up there, where basically you have that red that says replace, letting you know that the filter is completely gone and must be replaced. It is not required to shut off the water line before you do this, but you may have a little bit that drips, so be prepared for that. But what we are gonna do first is we are gonna shut off the ice maker. And on this particular Frigidaire, we have this like this touch area here. Different models may be different, so whatever it takes to shut off your ice maker, that's how you would do it. But here we're gonna hit options. Ice maker, if I can get a close up there, is the top one. As you can see, it's set to on. So what we're gonna do is just hit the negative. Now it's set to off. And there it is, it indicated that the ice maker is off. So we're ready to go. All right, now here is our water filter here. It's in the upper right-hand corner. And what we're gonna do to release it is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to rotate it counterclockwise to the left, about 90 degrees to release it. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide it out gently and discard it. Grab that, turn it counterclockwise, 90 degrees right there. So that kind of popped right there. A little bit of water dripping out of the back and just slide it out gently and there it is the old filter is out go ahead and clean up any water that may have dripped out next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our new filter And this is also a good opportunity just to verify that it is the correct one. As you can see here, it is the exact filter. It is wrapped in a plastic, so we're going to go ahead and have to unpack all of that. And then we'll be ready to slide that in just 
as we removed the old one. Now we're ready to slide the new filter in. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to insert it with the handle in a horizontal position. And we're going to slide it all the way in. And then we're going to start turning it, pushing in slightly. And you'll feel it like right there. It starts to pull itself in again. And now as we continue to turn and push, It'll lock in with the handle now in a vertical position. And that's as far as it'll go. It's locked. You can't tighten it anymore. Everything is nice and tight. Now that the new filter is in place, we're going to go ahead and test it. So you're going to get a drinking glass. We're going to go ahead and just make sure that it's set to water. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain some water out of the dispenser, and then we're going to check around the filter housing, make sure that there's no leaks. You will hear some sputtering or maybe some gurgling. That's normal. That's the air being purged out of the system. That's completely normal. So let's go ahead and do it. Whoops. As you can see there, it sputtered a little bit there with air coming through, so be prepared for a little bit of a mess as some splash right there. But we're going to keep doing that until we get the system completely clear. It looks like all the air is out of the system now because it's just straight water coming out, but we're still going to do it a little bit longer just to ensure it. And then we're going to check inside also, make sure there's no leaks around the filter itself. And as I'm draining water out, we're watching the filter. And everything looks good. No drips or anything coming out. And we're going to continue to do this for several times until approximately one and a half gallons has been run through the filter completely with no issues. Once you're done running all the water through the system, uh, approximately a gallon and a half. Now we're ready to turn the ice maker back on. So we'll go back into options. And the same way we turned it off, we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign. That'll turn it back on. It'll acknowledge it, and then we can exit. Next thing that we need to do is we'll also need to go ahead and reset the water filter reset button on the control panel. So what we're going to do is we will... As we see here, we have water filter along the bottom where it says replace. And we'll use the up and down arrows to toggle down to it. And on the side here, it'll say press and hold the set button for three seconds. We'll hold it for three seconds down. That'll reset it, take the light out, and then it'll start calculating the life of this new filter. So let's go ahead and reset that. Once the filter has been reset properly, it'll show a status of good next to it on the screen. And you're good to go. So now we can go ahead and close that out. And you're ready to start using your water dispenser and your ice maker with fresh, clean water. And now we can go ahead and dispose of the old filter. Let's put that back in this box. And we'll go ahead and get ready to throw that out. And that pretty much wraps up this video on how to replace the water filter on a frigid air refrigerator. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it was informative for you. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you next time.